A year ago in Ottawa, Iowa, a man was happily celebrating his 80th birthday with his wife and 11 children. Sadly, that same man died in September from burns he suffered in a house explosion caused by thieves who cut a gas line in his home. Now classified as a cold case, News Channel 4's Melissa Lanzarakis has more on how the family of Earl Thielander remembers him today and if police are any closer to catching the copper thieves. Through the steady sound of rain, Earl Thielander's family dedicates two evergreen trees recently planted in his memory. He was a very special person. He was just, he was loved by everybody. He knew what role he played in our lives. He was, he was the rock. Earl Thielander died last September due to severe burns he suffered after an explosion in his rural Ottawa, Iowa home. The explosion happened after thieves stripped the copper off the family's propane tank. They took a very special person from a lot of people's lives. Six days after Earl's funeral, Hope was diagnosed with breast cancer. It wasn't that big of a thing at all. It never has been because it was so minor to what else I'd gone through. And, you know, missing Earl was, it was more important than... I just never was worried about the cancer. She drew strength from Earl. He drew strength from her. And she's, she's very strong. She's never let her, the, the cancer get in the way of what she's doing. Despite missing Earl, the family is hopeful that one day the person, our persons responsible for his death, will be caught. And we will find him. You know, we have a pretty good idea, you know, who it is. It's, but it, we realize, too, that police can't make an arrest until they have enough information that, you know, the charges will stick. But I don't sit around and just feel bitter about it because you can't do that, first of all. I just pray that someday the person will do the right thing. Until then, the Thielanders will remember their loving father and the legacy he leaves behind. In Ottawa, Iowa, Melissa Lanzarakis, KTIV, News Channel 4. The two trees that were planted were at the Veterans Memorial Museum in Ottawa. The Lander once served in the U.S. Coast Guard.